Hello again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a little bit of a chit chat, and we got some yarn. I'm very excited about this yarn. Very, very. A uh, little bit of a backstory on the yarn. Um, not too long ago, Rose Likes Crochet was doing a live stream, and Spring, the fiber enthusiast, was one of the other people on the panel, and we got to chit chatting. Apparently, Spring spins yarn, dyes yarn. I got all excited, and I said, Ooh, can you spin and dye some yarn for me? And she said, Yes, and I am so excited. I'm very, very, very excited. Um, Yes, I have spun yarn, I have dyed yarn, and I enjoy it. I haven't done it in a really long time because I've been so preoccupied with a million and one other things, I'm sure you can relate, um, between knitting projects and crocheting projects and new recipes that I've been playing around with in the kitchen. It's, it's kind of endless, really. Um, but when Spring said that she would be able to make some custom yarn for me, I jumped at the opportunity, and I'm very, very excited. Now, I did pay for this. This video is not sponsored. Um, it was, I believe, about $60, and I have a feeling it's going to be worth it because I know how much effort goes into spinning and dyeing yarn. It's a lot of effort. Um, so, as far as the price, would I normally spend that much money on like two hanks of yarn from a retail store? No, no, I would not. However, since this is handmade, hand spun, hand dyed, and also she worked with me on the colors, I'm very excited. So without further ado, let's open this up. I got my little trusty pair of scissors and let's see what I have been waiting for. All right, so for the moment of truth, I just, I, of course, I want to open this up very, very carefully, naturally. I would die if I cut the yarn by accident. You'd have to bury me in the backyard. Ooh, oh, oh, I see already. It is gorgeous. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to be very careful. I'm, I'm... Oh, oh my. Oh, this is looking... <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I do see a card in here. So, I got... It's obligatory. I have to open the card first. It's the rule. I've said this a million times. It says, thank you, handmade with love. Oh, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Let's see. Dear Fiber Spider, thank you! Thank you for being awesome. Yarny love and hugs from spring. You're awesome. You're... No, I'm not awesome. You're awesome. You made some fabulous yarn. I can tell already. So, let us take a look-see. Oh, it's packaged so cute! Okay, now. Look at this. I got, I got two, two little bundles here. So cute very, very cute. So let us check one of these out at the very least. Ooh! Hand spun and hand dyed by Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. Now, so it looks like, yes, okay. That's actually very clever, Spring. What, what Spring did was she took a a pre-existing band and like wrote over it. So no, that's, that's totally cool. That's fine. Um, so, oh, very cool. Okay. So what Spring did was the, the band actually is what she spun into making this. It apparently is called Stroll and it's a hundred grams. And so let's see. Oh, it's made in Peru. Okay. Well, the, the roving, because this is 75% fine superwash merino roving, which is good. Superwash is great because it means that, yes, you can machine wash it. You know, you don't have to be too particularly careful. It's not going to, you know, shrink and felt as easily as regular uh, merino. 
and it is also 25% nylon top, okay? So you can machine wash cold and tumble dry low. Cool, very cool. Um, and it is from Knit Picks, okay. So, you know what? Let us very, very carefully take off the wrapper because I wanna open this up and see, oh, and it is approximately 250 yards for just this one. And now I believe she said that it is approximately um, a, a weight of three, which totally cool. That works for me. You know, usually when I do projects, it's usually either a weight of three or a weight of four. That's what I usually use. All right, trying to get this open here. Bear with me. I don't want to use scissors because I'm so deathly afraid that I'm going to end up cutting the yarn, and I don't want to do that just yet. So, ooh. See, when Spring and I were talking color, I'm like, I want something autumnal because that is my Jimmy Jam. I love autumn colors, and this is to die for. This makes me think of walking uh, along a, a tree-lined lane in, in perhaps Connecticut or Maine, and it is mid-October, and the leaves are changing and doing their thing. It's my favorite time of year. And we are approaching October pretty soon. I mean, it's almost September, you know, my favorite time of year. Oh, I am so excited to be able to use this finally. Okay, so let's see what we have to work with here. All right, so, and this is hand painted. I believe that's the technique that she used. This is so soft. This is lovely. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I'm so excited. All right, so it looks like we have a, a stretch of this really gorgeous sort of rust color and then a nice dark brown and then back to the rust and then sort of a, a golden orange yellowy. And then it goes mostly mostly into sort of a, a medium brown, if you will. And I can't wait to use this. I, I cannot wait. Now, as far as the, the spin, it is a, a two ply and it looks really nice. Actually, you can tell that it was handmade, but that's a good thing. Um, it does not look like it was machine processed or manufactured. So let me give you a, a little bit of a better close up. The ply looks really nice and uh, twisted together, which is really cool. That way it, there will be less chance of it splitting. So let me give you another bit of a close up there. This is gorgeous and it is so soft. And of course, yes, I have to do the cheek test. I shaved today specifically so that I could do the cheek test. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. And I'm really liking this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take one of these. Um, I've got two, but I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to ball this up. And after balling this up, I'm going to start knitting. What exactly? I'm thinking scarf. Okay, because with, let's see, so if this is 250 yards. So that gives me approximately 500 yards. That will totally be enough for a scarf. I have every reason to believe so. Yes, I like my scarves wide um, and I do like them long, but I think that this will totally be enough. Well, between the two, totally be enough for a nice full length scarf. What I'm aiming for, I'm thinking maybe do something in the line of a seed stitch or a double seed stitch or a moss stitch, something like that. I want it to be reversible. I want it to be simple. And I want the yarn to do the talking, not the stitch. I don't want to do something overtly complex with the stitch because, like I said, I want the yarn to do the talking. If 
this is my experience, where if you have a, a yarn with a slightly busy colorway, you don't want the stitch to be also really busy, you know, because if you have the stitch screaming for attention and you have the yarn color screaming for attention and they're both screaming for attention, you can't hear anything. Things get muddled. But if you have one complementing the other, so if you have the yarn that is a little busy, but the stitch is a bit more subdued, you have balance, you know, or vice versa. So if you have um, a, a very complex stitch, but a very plain, simple, single color yarn, they complement each other. So that is what I'm offhand thinking. So I'm going to ball this up and I am going to start stitching. And unlike most of my videos, I'm actually going to start my project so that you can see what it looks like stitched up. I am so excited. Mm. I will see you in a bit. Hello again. Alrighty, so since the last part of this video, uh, I took one of these hanks and I got out my yarn swift and I created a ball. Now I tell you, I was very, very pleasantly surprised and pleased. Well, not so much surprised because we take pride in our work. Um, there was not one knot in the entire length of the hank that I balled up. Very, very pleased. And I tell you, this stuff is a dream and a delight to work with. Um, so this is what I have left over after working up a bit of knitting. And let me show you what I got. This is what I have thus far. And in spite of how much I like how this turned out, I might actually rip this out and start over and make the scarf a little bit wider. When dealing with, you know, custom colorways and so forth, and you can't get more, you have to kind of play yarn chicken a little bit. Um, but I think that based on what I have left, I could make this piece a little bit wider. Give you a little bit of a lowdown. So these are my Chowgu interchangeable knitting needles. I love these. Hashtag not sponsored. Would like to be. <laughs> um, and so with these, uh, I did a knitted cast on 25 stitches. I think I might bump it up to 31. Now I like having an odd number for this particular stitch because that way it is just a one row repeat. It's essentially a seed stitch or a moss stitch. I don't even know the difference between the two. Um, so basically how this particular stitch works is it is completely reversible. It looks the same on the front and the back because it is. Um, first stitch is a knit, then a purl. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, ending with a knit stitch. Then, when you flip it over, you do the exact same thing. You begin and end with a knit stitch, alternating with purl stitches. It's so easy. And the reason why I chose this stitch is because I think it creates a really sort of blended, painterly look to the colorway. I love this so much. I'm very, very pleased. And that is what I have. Now, uh, if you guys are interested, which, I mean, if I were you, I would be, go check out Spring's channel. In the uh, About section of the channel, there's all her information if you're interested in contacting her and perhaps acquiring some of, you know, this kind of yarn yourself. I love this. Do I normally, like I said before, do I normally spend like $60 on two hanks of yarn? No, I don't. But it is a treat, you know, it is, you know, I mean, I, I do have lots of scarves of my own, um, but I thought it would be nice to create something new for this year for myself. And, you know, I, I don't splurge that often on, you know, luxury yarns or, you know, handmade yarns that often. So it's, it's nice for a specialty project, um, you know, obviously something that, you know, you're not going to donate or, you know, it's like, no, th this is for me. <laughs> so if you want something a little extra special, 
that is absolutely delightful to work with, yeah, sometimes treat yourself. You know, you're worth it. And I think that this is totally worth it. And I can totally see getting yarn from spring again. I am delighted. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put her information in the description box down below, as well as, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, my usual information and so forth. So listen, everybody, I hope that you liked this video today and that you found it informative. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.